Hello, my Tauruses, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I am Debbie, and I am reading for August, what is it, 18th through the 24th. Now, I've done an overview. Uranus and Taurus is part of that overview, so please watch it. Um, interesting, as always, we are, in, we are always in interesting times, but remember, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. And I think I, I named it uh, The Wheel is Moving Forward or something about the wheel because the Wheel of Fortune does appear. Anyway, my Taurus is finding your purpose, finding your dream. We have a full moon here uh, coming up the, uh, the 19th. Full moon in Aquarius. Be real. Show the world the real you. Do you know your purpose? Do you know your dream? Do you know that job? What is that job that you have been waiting for? I feel like this is one of those times that you really need to start reaching out and, you know, reaching out to the heavens, God's source, and just saying, this is what I want out of my life, finding purpose, finding dreams. Okay, so let's see. It's been a while for you to be dreaming that you've dreamt, um, and... We are going to have a little bit of crunch time with this Pluto going back into Capricorn, but um, it, it's time to start dreaming again for you, my Taurus. It's time for you to start finding that dream job. And remember, dreams last so long. Sometimes it's the dream of a lifetime, and sometimes it's a dream of a season. So let's see. It's all about dreams for you and finding your purpose, finding your dreams, especially around this time. Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit, Lord, what is there for your Tauruses? What do you want to tell your Tauruses? Let me try to get those straightened out a little bit. Okay, there we go. One, two, and three, three cards face down. Let's see, this one's reversed, so it's got a little more impact. Eight of Michael. You've had this a couple of times before. Eight unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Michael, air energy. Yes, and all of it's in play. Oh, what do we do? We have um, Jupiter and Mars in Gemini. Re really weird energies with that. We have um, Aquarius, Pluto retrograding, and we have Libra in that south node cleaning up some messes. Eight is unlimited opportunities and possibilities. You turn it from the right, you know, standing up to the side. It's all about infinity. Uh, making plans, thinking things through. Uh, it's really, it could even be about hearing news. It is a breakout moment. It is a, you can be free. You can free yourself. You have to make some action. You have to take some action here though, okay? You have to open the gates. You have to take off the binds. You have to get off, get up and make your movement. But it is about wanting to be free and it is about taking the steps to move out of your situation. Now, if that's a job, you're in a job you hate, then again, it's always easier to get a job when you have a job. Get your resume in order. Start sending it out. You know, start sending it out. Start looking at the opportunities that are around you. If it's something you've been waiting and you've been wanting to start a business, Put your business plan together. Take it to a bank. And I'm not a financial or a lawyer or a legal representative. So, you know, you, you need to take it with people that are. But it is a time to break free. Now, maybe maybe it's more of a case of a spiritual break free. And, you know, so then you need to do that. Maybe there's something you've been wanting to look into. Look into it. But it's you need to take a step. You need to take some action. You can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So she's looking up, she's looking up maybe at the angels, maybe she's looking up at what's ahead of her and not necessarily looking, but what, what do we have down here? So we have, those look like those were once um, ankle, um, you know, ankle um, chains. So, you know, she she is breaking free. She is taking a chance. She is stepping out. Next card reversed. Leap of faith. This is the one that was reversed, so it's got a strong message for you. Taking a chance. Leap of faith. Zero God source energy. Archangel Metatron. 
Metatron, believed to be Enoch before the flood, the book of Enoch, really very um, interesting reading. Uh, Metatron also has a time element to it, but walked with God, talked with God on the earth, did not die, was transfixed and brought to the heavens, okay? The leap of faith, this is the fool card, this is the new beginnings, this is just, I don't know where I'm going with any of it, I just know that I need to be doing this. And the leap of faith says, believe in yourself, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. And we have that dog that winds up, you know, that comes around and is in many of the different cards. Interesting with that. Um, faithful friend. A lot of people like to say D-O-G, G-O-D. It's a leap of faith. Next card, new beginnings. So there is a shift happening here. But again, there's a lot of you needing to take action, okay? This is also the judgment card. So we have a two zero. Two is um, crossroads, choices, decisions. 10 plus 10, transition, transition. Archangel Raz, uh, Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah blah, 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 blah. This is looking back, looking at where you've been and kind of going, I'm okay with it. Judgment is about, look, you know, is really coming to an acceptance. But it's also looking back at all your experiences, the good, the bad, the ugly, and really saying, you know what, I'm, I'm okay with it. That shows real spiritual and emotional maturity. But the new beginning says starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. I love that. Kind of goes along with exactly what I was saying that I was feeling for you. Okay, let's go on here. Starting a new life, finding your purpose your dream job. Okay, that, those two cards are like not wanting to shuffle, so we're going to take them. This card, six, this is the lover's card, so you've got another major arcana. I talked, um, actually, Capricorn had this too, so if you cross watch, meaning, you know, you look, you know, moon, Venus, things like that, and you see this, look at that as um, validation. Open your heart. Allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for a, such a long time. I'd say 2018. And now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. I love that. Next card is Three of Thought. Interesting with this. Three of Thought. This is that heart with those uh, swords in it. Uh, three of air. We've talked about air. Three is celebration and creation. This is about letting go of the past so you can go into the future. Loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time, and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. Okay, remember, I'm always forgive. You don't have to forget, okay? Because <laughs> otherwise you have to learn that lesson over again. Here we go. And lessons are too painful. I mean, there's some good lessons. And you say, oh, I'd like to learn that lesson over again. But most lessons, I mean, they're, they're growth moments. Okay, higher power, what else? What else for your Tauruses? Okay. Reversed. Dreams of abundance. So here we even have dreams. I was talking about that. Finding your purpose, what is your dream? Dreams of abundance. There's little Taurus sleeping. Oh, look at music. Music is playing. As you sleep. God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. I love that. Now, I'm not one to really write things down. I do have a journal next to my bed, but I'd have to really wake up to find it. Anyway, but, but, my Tauruses. 
you are not me and that's what makes you so so wonderful you will write these things down okay anyway higher power what else for your Tauruses what else for your Tauruses what crystal or energy for your Taurus angel of good will tiger's eye oh this is also good for prosperity too are you envious of someone else's good fortune hmm. are you are others jealous of you replace jealousy with happiness for another's good fortune blessings are being received all around anyone can create the same blessings with true and pure intention it's up to you here we go angel of goodwill I am sincerely happy for the blessings in the lives of others it brings me great joy to see others experiencing happiness I extend blessings and goodwill to all I am grateful for other people's good fortune and that helps that helps to stimulate the power of attraction the law of attraction okay the moon again be real show the world the real you okay let's see what other moon energy for your Tauruses what other moon energy for your Tauruses okay pretty the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon new moon to full moon is the waxing moon I love it making your requests wish it put the wishes out there all right my Taurus says I love this it, things are shifting things are changing and I want that all for you I want all good stuff please do me that favor please 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 because I really need the I need people tell me my videos I, I I've subscribed and I'm not being they're not coming up please I need to be seen a little bit with the videos especially if you want to keep me coming back so please just do me a little favor like share subscribe click on the bell for notifications it helps as always though my Tauruses always know that you are truly loved stay shining and be blessed bye bye